free Triss or join them. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? Let's just say we're close. <laughs> I knew mean, it. You're in love with her. You wouldn't risk your neck otherwise. But you don't know everything about her. I know all about her, Cooch. What are you talking about? <laughs> your friend and <clears throat> other witches conspired against your rulers. You lie. You think it impossible? Triss was loyal to the crown. You're a fool. That's what happens when tits take over a man's mind. <laughs> I don't believe you. That's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup, call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show you the empire's true. Yada yada yada, time to kill all your men. Surround him! Fuck you, mage. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Shield bearers, forward. Shield bearers. Oh shit, it's himself. I have to fight him too. Okay. Get some uh, energy here. Vigor, whatever. I'm trying to attack him and he won't do it. He wouldn't attack the right guy. Fucking stupid. Oh yeah. So that's just me and him, one on one. Fuck him up, yeah. He's dead. Yes, you did. Eat a dick. Wow, prison key, Nilfgaard camp key. He has a letter and armor. I just picked up an ar armor. The armor of Vicavario. Wow, it's good. Reduction of damage from magic, 32. Damage, inc wow, incineration, 50. Bleeding, 50. Poison, 50. But then again, mine is still really good because I have all the enhancements and it gives me vitality plus 60. So you know what? I'm keeping my armor. Fuck it. Mine's better. Junk. What do we have here? Chests. Oh shit, Falconer's Gauntlets. Probably in here. What the fuck? It's a dead end. I guess not. <clears throat> here we go. There she is. I wonder how badly she was raped. Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilf Guardian dungeon is the execution. Did they torture you? They tried various things, <laughs> but they got nothing from me. When I left Flotsam with Vernon, I somehow doubted I'd find you so soon. I know it was hard on you. 
I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. I'd slaughter half the North Guardian army for a friend. <laughs> I know you're a member of the Lodge, Triss. How do you know the Lodge? Does it matter? I also know the Lodge was behind Dem Event's assassination. Geralt, I... I trust you. Hmm. True. I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Huh. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... <sighs> Tell me. I was close to you. I had the biggest tits. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. Huh. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them. Even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Interesting. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. <laughs> Calm down, Triss. Bernaldette Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some elf guardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philip was not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. No wonder the kings are opposing the sorceresses. Nobody likes a schemer. Hmm. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, hmm. Denevin, and Stennis. Denevin hated mages. No more than Hensel Duranovit. Hmm. Sheila and Philippa saw Denevin as the weakest ruler. His son, Stennis, blows hot and cold. Plus, he who controls the Pontar Valley controls the north. So it was in Edder that a popular rebel emerged, preaching the idea of a new state. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. Huh. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. Hmm. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. We never met after that. Huh. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Okay, so that's what happened. He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the witchers of the School of the Viper. School of the Viper? Sheila what the hell? The Was it Cobra Kai? I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything. I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edern. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I knew Philippa was in the area. <clears throat> I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman in Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, <clears throat> I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Move Guardian spy. Huh. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Buin. Oh, wow. As Sira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, it'd have had me cold. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Who had Foltest assassinated? 
I have no idea. Hmm. Perhaps after Denovan's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Denovan was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltes died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. So what's the real thing, th thing going on here? What's the real plot? Foltes, hmm. And Sheila was working with Letho. Alright, good enough. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend. You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanet Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. Hey, you got it back. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. Mm. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Eilhart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go, then. Leetrus out of the camp, okay.